Warmcraft Incorporated, located in Taylorsville, Mississippi, provides final treatment and press of military uniforms. Warmcraft was the initial item level radio frequency identification, or RFID, research and development manufacturing site for the customer driven uniform manufacturing program run by the DLA R&D office. Let's go inside and see how they do it. Information on contracts and delivery orders requiring RFID item level tagging is automatically downloaded into a vendor's RFID software. To print the RFID tags for a specific item, an employee searches the RFID software for the item's contract and delivery order information. She verifies all the information and types in the quantities of tags she wants printed. She then verifies that all tags are printed correctly and prepares them for attachment to garments. Each garment is affixed with an RFID tag. RFID tagging methods may vary due to how it is packaged. Once items are tagged, they are moved to the inspection and packing area. Each item is inspected for quality based on contract and quality assurance requirements. If the item passes quality inspection, it's then packed in an appropriately sized box and then pushed down a conveyor to be sealed. Here is another example of an item tagged with RFID. Once all items are inspected, counted, and sealed, each box is passed through a motorized conveyor RFID read station to verify the size and count of items contained in that box are correct. Strategically placed antennas and readers verify the contents of each box. Once verified, the system links all RFID tags in the box to an RFID case tag, which is then printed. The case tag is then affixed to the box and sent down to be moved to storage. If the contents are incorrectly packed, the employee is notified of the types of error encountered. Each box is checked manually to correct any errors. Once corrected, the box is then sent through the motorized conveyor RFID read station again for linking to the RFID case tag. Finished boxes are stored on pallets in the warehouse, awaiting shipment processing. When a customer requests an order, an employee sets up a shipment using a vendor's RFID shipping software all delivery order and contract information is downloaded automatically. After setting up the shipment, the employee verifies the original document to what's on screen and then prints out a delivery order for palletizing. An employee uses a Wi-Fi connected handheld device. He then verifies the number of cases and pallets to prepare. The handheld device can use either the RFID scan or barcode reader mode. In this case, due to the proximity of other boxes, he is using the barcode reader mode to select boxes to link each case to a pallet. Once all boxes are selected, pallet tags are printed and affixed on an easily viewable location on each pallet. In this case, it is affixed to a box for easy locating. Each pallet tag is numbered for quick references for both Warmcraft and their customer locations. A second method to palletize a shipment is through the use of a palletizer. This process allows case and pallet linking and validation while being shrink-wrapped simultaneously. Depending on the customer, this process can help speed up the shipment preparation process. Both the handheld and palletizer methods also have the capabilities to conduct exceptions processing. Exceptions allow the user the capability to change the amount of items in a box and relink the RFID tags as required by the customer. RFID data and item count is automatically synchronized and updated with the database. Once all cases and pallets have been associated, the entire shipment information is uploaded to the VIM ASAP. VIM ASAP is a web application used by apparel manufacturers to automate the creation and submission of invoices and shipments. Final shipment processing is completed using the Virtual Item Manager interface. A DD250 document is printed and placed in a packing slip to accompany the shipment to the customer location. Next, military shipping labels, or MSLs, are then printed to be attached to each pallet.
All items are then transferred to a shipping employee to be affixed where viewable on each pallet. Finally, the shipment is loaded onto a truck and released to its destination.